to you. Why? No! No! Why not? Do it! Why? A cheese up! A cheese up! What does it mean? A cheese up. It means spell. Somebody's put a spell on it. He has a lock of my hair. Who has a lock of your hair? The old man. What old man? The one who made me rob the store. What do you mean he made you rob the store? He put a spell on me. We heard that. Now, why did you rob the store? Come on, Julio. I need the money. <laughs> Great. Why do you need the money? For the old man. To pay the old man to protect my mother's store. And if you don't pay the old man to protect your mother's store? Hechizo. protection racket, is that right? Call it what you want. I could call a hundred better things right now. Come on, Jim. Well, he says the guy has a lock of his hair. You know what that means to some of these people. Yeah, I know what it means. It means cop out. Well, I don't buy it. The kid needed some extra cash. This is a good kid, Lieutenant. Look, kids need extra cash, so they rob. They hold up drugstores. When they're caught, they blame it on the local witch doctor. Terrific. Okay, look, I'll talk to the community relations officer about this. Jeff, we've got important things to do here. Lieutenant, this is important. To me. How about it, Rojas? A lock of hair? Sure it's possible. If someone had a lock of hair, some fingernails, they could threaten you. I know it could happen, but does it? That's important. Well, I don't think there are many people in the neighborhood who believe in it anymore. Or there's some. Every now and then I go into somebody's home and I see salt. Pepper, sprinkled in front of the doorway to keep away this evil spirit. There's a lot of practices. You don't see much of it. A lot of people going there. By incense, roots, herbs, potions, dolls. To many it's just a tradition, like a family remedy. But I'm sure there are some who buy out of fear. But is it enough to make it worthwhile for extortion? I don't know. You really should talk to Mr. Rogales, social worker up here, if anyone would know. Where have you been? This kind of stuff has been happening here for years. All of a sudden, you pop up out of the sidewalk and say, hey, what's happening? Uh, we're involved in a lot of other things. Besides, most of the people I know up here don't practice these kind of things. Most of the people up here don't have anything to do with it. And the ones that do keep their mouths shut. What were you expecting, exorcisms in the street? No, no. I just, I just want to meet some of these people, the store owners. We need proof. Oh, wonderful. You think they are going to tell you anything? Oh, I'd still like to meet them. Who told you that? No names, I'm just asking. Oh, there's nothing like that around here. Who believes that stuff? Now, who do you think we are? It's nothing personal. I just wondered if anybody had approached you. Nobody. Nothing. No, nobody. Oh, what's that over there? It's a doll. It belongs to my daughter. I see. There's no pin stuck in it. Mire, yo pago mi renta, pago el teléfono y pago la, el gas. Eso es todo, no hay ninguna protección. Mire, todos nosotros somos amigos. Si alguien te está obligando a hacer algo que tú no quieres hacer, nosotros te podemos ayudar. Mire, señor, yo, yo le dije todo lo que sabía. What? He says he told us everything he knows. I can't help you. I understand there's been a man threatening some people in the neighborhood. No. With a spell, unless you buy protection from him. No. No. You haven't heard anything about him? I don't hear anything, man. I'm busy. Are you satisfied? Lieutenant, Puerto Rican couple wants to see Jeff. They heard about you through Julio. Send him in. What happens if you don't pay? He, he will put a curse on us. Who? What's his name? Uh, Mr. Fernandez. Uh, Mr. Diego Fernandez. No, no, Jaime, por favor. No le digas nada, por favor. No le digas nada. What's the matter? 
It's the curse. He will curse the unborn child if we say anything. Now, look, no one's going to harm you. You've given us his name. All you have to do is testify. No! No more! My baby! Mi niño! No, no, mi niño, por favor. Stop. Stop it, stop it. Cut it. <laughs> she wears this thing to keep away the curse. I pay $30 a week. For what? It's no good! Oh, God. Stop. They will help us. We got to stop. <laughs> oh, no. No, I meant no. Por favor, nuestro niño. Nuestro niño. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I, I cannot say anymore. I, I cannot testify. She, she's afraid about the baby. You've come this far. Now, you know he won't hurt you. I know it, but my wife, she's afraid. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I'm very, very sorry. But... I'm sorry. He's sorry. Well, we've got a name. We've got a name. So it's not so crazy after all, right? Can I stay with it? Okay, we got something. But we still need someone to testify. We can't bring a man in on suspected witchcraft. Oh. So he just hangs out there, collecting his $30 a week from we don't know how many people, and we can't do anything about it? Now, uh, Jeff, you know how backed up we are. All right, I'll do it on my own time, Lieutenant. All right. Well, just check in, huh? Cigar? Uh, no, thanks. Cuban. They come from Yugoslavia to Hong Kong. <laughs> now I have to pay for the traveling expenses. My star's traveling, and I have to stay here. <laughs> what can I do for you, Mr. Ward? I'm from the Community Merchant Association, and I... You're a cop. What do you want? Well, is there anything wrong with a cop caring about his community? I heard a lot about you, and I thought... You thought you could come around here and snoop around, huh? I have an honest business. I help these people out. I bring their families from Puerto Rico. I help them sign their leases. I give them business advice, and... I find jobs for them. I do a little of everything. That's what I do. How do you go and snoop around somewhere else, huh? Mr. Fernandez, you sound like you have something to hide. I have nothing to hide. I don't like police. I live in this neighborhood for 35 years, and I learned a lot of things. And now I make my living from those things I've learned. I give people advice. And the very first thing I tell them is to mind their own business. How I make my living is none of your business. You better go. Why don't you make me disappear? That's more in your line. Get out! Next time you get beat up, do it on company time. I knew I shouldn't have let you go there alone. But he's scared, Lieutenant. If he's got to send his hoods out to beat up a cop, he's scared. Now's the time to really keep pushing until he's got to do something desperate. Something like shoot a cop? No, no. Okay. Any word on those two guys? Your description's out. We're still looking. We picked them up. We've got something. Yeah, we got a couple of muggers. But we haven't got Fernandez. Now, why don't we do it my way? Well, what's that? Go to Julio. Get him to testify. We tell him we'll talk to the DA. The possibility of escaping a sentence usually gets results. If we're going to Julio, let's really tell him something. Let's show him how ridiculous this belief really is. 
If he understands the harmlessness of the threats, then we've done more than just get him to testify. Look, we're out to get a criminal. We're not out to convert these people. We've got to try. No. You can't run headstrong into a community, tear down their beliefs, bust up their culture just to catch one petty criminal. If Julio's going to testify, let him testify because there's something in it for him. Because he knows no matter how he's harassed, we'll protect him. But we can't protect him against evil spells. He knows that. You want to know what's busting up his culture? His supernatural beliefs. The beliefs that we don't want to deal with are keeping him in the ghetto. And the longer he believes these kind of things, the longer he'll be susceptible to extortion, to anybody who wants to take advantage of him. And the longer it'll be before he and his people can get over this kind of thing. The only way to get rid of Fernandez is to get Julio to get the community to drive him out by refusing to believe. And you want to liberate the whole community? You want to enlighten them? I want to try. I know this is difficult for you to believe. I know your mother raised you to believe these things, but you're different, Julio. Your friends are different. Most of them don't believe in these spells. And so Fernandez can't threaten them. Fernandez is tricking you, man. He has no spells. If he did have them, why didn't he use them on me? Instead, he had to get a couple of his goons to rough me up. There are no such spells. And if you testify against Fernandez, I promise you, you'll find out for yourself. Well, trust me, Julio. What? Julio. How are you, Amy? My, uh, my wife had her baby last night. Hey, congratulations. What for? The baby was born dead. Julio, it was a coincidence. You've got to believe that. But he came to us. It was a coincidence, Julio. You've got to believe that. He put a spell on the baby. And the baby is dead. You told me it's a coincidence. An accident. Okay, you believe that. Well, I can't take that chance. Not with my life. All right, Julio. It was no accident. The spell really worked. I believe it. Mr. Fernandez told that woman that her baby would be cursed. And all she did from that moment on was worry. Worry if her husband would tell. Worry about how they would make it if he didn't. Worry about what the spell would do to her baby if he did. Worried until she worried herself sick. Until she was sick, Julio. And because of it, her child was born dead. It was no accident. Her belief killed that baby just as yours is killing you. I am alive! I keep quiet, I'm alive! You're gonna go to jail, Julio. Is that being alive? And what next? You're gonna have to go out and shoot somebody to meet your next payment. And you might get killed trying to do it. Is that being alive? And when you're dead, will Fernandez's spell have done it? Or will you have done it, Julio? With your own spell of ignorance? <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna make a deal with you. Now, the hearing for the robbery is coming up. We're gonna do all we can to help you. We're gonna talk to the DA. We're gonna try to get your sentence reduced. More if possible. If, if you testify against Fernandez. Do you want to spend the next few years in jail, huh? You'll be in jail and he'll be free. Exploiting your friends and laughing at you. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. You want me to drop you home? No, I think I'll just walk around a bit. You better watch out. I'll just walk around. I'll be all right. OK? Yeah. Lieutenant's right, you know. Sometimes... Oh, come on, Johnny. Please, man. Good Mr. Ward. Fernandez, bringing home some roots and herbs to boil up, huh? That's right. I just got a full shipment of magic dust, and I'm going to sprinkle it around. I don't think your spell is going to keep anybody quiet for much longer. Listen, you. What I told you the other day still holds. There is free enterprise in this country. I built a good business. You stay out of it. Stay there. I've got it. No, I can't go through with it. I'm still... He's gonna come in here and put a spell on me. I know it. Now, Julio, listen to me. Let me tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna call Fernandez and tell him you don't believe him anymore. You have nothing to lose. Believe us. You think I'm crazy? 
You think what I believe is crazy? You don't know. You just don't know. Julio, we don't think it's crazy. We all have beliefs like you. We all have our devils, our false gods. For some of us, it's super patriotism. For some of us, it's money. We put our faith blindly into these things because we're afraid and we need something to hang on to. You've got to question everything, Julio. Don't you see, once you start believing in something and never question it, once you harden your opinions and go on with blind faith, you allow these devils to live. You give these superstitions life. Superstitions like all black men are independent, all Puerto Ricans are lazy, all Jews are money hungry. You've got to stand up and say no. No to these lies. Because if you don't, these lies are going to be believed. And if they're believed, they're going to be true. And if they're true, Julio, where are we? Hmm? Where are we? Fernandez. It's Julio. I wanted to tell you that. That don't send your men around. We, we're not paying anymore, I... I'm not afraid of that. I, we're not paying. That's all. The story's over. Be here. I won't leave. Bye. Is on. Hola, Julio. Hola. How's your mother? Fine. I guess the mixture I gave your mother has done some good, huh? I guess. Julio, would you like to tell me again what you told me on the telephone? Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to pay you anymore. You don't think? No, I know I won't be able to pay you anymore. Well, I guess business is no good. How about if I reduce your fee? You give me uh, $20 a week. That'll be fine. No, I can't do that. You see, things are really tough, huh? I'll tell you what I do for you. This month, you don't pay me at all. And then next month, when business is better, you, we start again, huh? Give me a, one of the best cigars. Give me a, a dollar cigar. No. I can't have a cigar? No. No more payments. No more. Ever. This month, next month, no more! Julio, I'm warning you. If this is your final answer, I'm warning you. Julio? No. Come here, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Come here. Julio, if this is your final answer, there's only one thing I can do. Tu cara. What happened, Julio? He put his spell on my face. He what? He always called me his ha handsome boy. He kissed me on what I do with the girls. He said that this spell would be on my face if I... Julio, nothing will happen. How do you know? Something will happen, Julio. Fernandez is going to wait until you're alone. Then two of his tough guys are going to jump out of the dark and beat you to a pulp. That's his magic spell. And we're going to get him, Julio, and you're going to help us. Just go about your business as though nothing happened. Give him a chance to spring. We gave him a chance. No, Julio, he's too smart for that. He's not going to beat you up unless he has to. He's figured he's scared you. He'll chicken out. Now let's beat him at his own game. And if I get up tomorrow, my face is all ugly. Then I'll turn in my badge. My face is important to me. So is my badge. Julio, suppose we give him two more days. If he doesn't act by then, then you can call the whole thing off. You can wear red, you can sprinkle salt, you can wear your black hand, anything you want. They ought to hold out for about two days. And then if we're right, you won't need him anymore. You'll be free. Okay. He's only got about four hours left. I think we can hold Julio longer if we have to. Do you? No. 
is locking up now. Hey, what's that? Looks like somebody wants to buy something from me. Julio's telling him he's closed. He's going to open up for him. That's it. Let's go. Yeah. I hate to say this, but that beating is probably the best thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> Hello, Lieutenant. It's Jeff. Would you believe I have two of the devil's advocates for you? Right. picking him up now. Unless he's pulled a disappearing act. Well, we got a new potion they're mixing up down in the lab. One quick spray and he's back. <laughs> you sure you can face him at the hearing? Oh, yes. Anything I can do to help. As soon as I tell my friends, I think you have a lot of people to testify. As many as you can get. I'm going to have a man posted with you for a while. Fernandez may have friends. We, we want to be safe. Well, I'll be okay. Well, we just want to be sure. Thank you. I... I feel light. Great. I... Yes? Yes. 